Hello and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Patia, Patia Channel's very own breakfast show. I'm your host, Nick Pendrell, and as usual, I am joined by my companion and partner in crime, Mr. Dave Buckley. Thanks for inviting me on. Always a pleasure to see you. And our special guest today is none other than Paul from Cats For You. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for inviting me. Not at all. So, um, Cats For You, I believe mm. you're known as The Cat Man. Yeah, yeah, I, d I did get that nickname a few years ago, so mm. uh, people tend to call me. Like, maybe something to do with the reason why we have 50 cats in the house, you know. 50? <clears throat> yeah. Actually, I think it's 51 at the moment. So, 51? Yeah. It must be hard to... Do they keep reproducing? No, no, no. We don't, um, we don't breed them. We, we just rescue them from the streets. Oh, OK. And then try and find homes for them. Um, occasionally, we do get a pregnant mum come um, that obviously produces, but as soon as her kittens are rehomed, then we get a neutered and try and find a home for her too, mm. you know? Mm. Right. Have you always been into cats since very um, young age? Well, we, we, we've always had cats. I had, had cats when I, was a, when I was a nipper, I suppose, and, and uh, we, we've had cats most of our lives, I suppose, but never as many as this, you know? Uh, no, I would <laughs> imagine that. Uh, and is, have, have you reached peak capacity? Now? Well, I mean, we always say we've reached peak capacity, but then when somebody calls, and I, I had a call two days ago, and uh, somebody brought a tiny, weak mm. old kitten, you know, and... and you can't turn you it away. You didn't feel you could turn it away, no. no. This is the problem. And, uh, you know, we do have to turn them away um, occasionally, and we don't like to, but at the end of the day, you know, you, you, you've got to know when to call it quits, really, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, but a little baby, you know, we, we, we gave it a go, sadly. It didn't make it, you know. Mm. Oh, but, what a shame. Um, yeah, so it was a bit of a shame, but, um, you know, it's not, it's not all good, good things that come at the end, you know? No. We, we do lose yeah. a few, unfortunately, but... Uh, how many, how many humans in the house? There's just me and, and my wife, Sandra, who's mm. actually in England at the moment, so mm. uh, it's just me doing all the work okay. at the moment. Yeah, does, she, so. does she share your passion for the Well, she's cats? got two, really, is not she? <laughs> well, it does help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how long have you been together? Uh, 31 years. Yeah, I, I think, think if she didn't yeah, like yeah. cats, probably yeah. she, she might, might have been a bit of a problem by now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And do you live in this huge mansion? Or? Well, no, it's, it's not a huge mansion. We, li we live in East Path here, over on the dark side. Right. And uh, um, we've, we've got a, a quite biggish bungalow with a separate maid's quarters. So, right. So each room is designated so for the maid certain, out and Yeah, yeah. Get to. The maid is gone, and, yeah. uh, and each room has several cats in it. You know, mm. so. but, but our shelter isn't really a. Most people imagine a cat shelter as a place with hundreds of cages, yeah. you mm. know, and cats, you know, mm. looking at you, waiting yeah. to come out. But it's not mm. like that. Um, basically, it's, it's just it's just a, an extended cat family for us. Right. But, but every cat that we have is available for adoption. You know? Right. Mm. Um, so, and it's do, do you try and vet? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you try and sort of make do something to try and make sure that they're going to a good home? Well, absolutely. You? I mean, we we always sit down with a with with the person and and, mm. and chat to them for mm. for twenty five minutes or so and mm. find out what sort of a house they've got mm. and you know are they going to be here full time? Which which is a real big problem. You know, yeah, we, I can we, imagine. we rehome cat people come here from different countries and they think they're going to stay here forever. You know, mm -hmm. and and. 12 months down the line, so they, they call and say, oh, this cat you can gave you me, I've got to go yeah. back to Russia today, and mm. can you take it back, you know, so, so we do get a few come back as well. well it's which, almost like you're leasing them to somebody. Exactly, yeah, but because you don't get any money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of a problem. I've, um, um, I think the word is rescued, uh, spoke, so to speak, um, uh, t cats twice in my life. Right, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, very unimaginative names, actually. Yeah. What? Butch and Sundance. Butch and Sundance. Oh, yeah. They're the worst yeah. ones. We, yeah, we, we and Cagney and Lacey. <laughs> That's it, we, when they were females. Yeah, yeah, we've had Cagney and Lacey. Have yeah. they all got names uh, then? All 51? Oh, yeah, yeah, all and you know all 50? Of course. Pretty much, yeah. But we've got five kittens that we haven't named yet. So. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, they were, we we're just waiting for somebody to come along. And it must name get a few. hard to come up with yet more yeah, original names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we've got a little dictionary that we're in the back with all, all oh, names. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, so, so we do Are that. Are you tired here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we moved over here, this is our eighth year, mm. and uh, when we came here, um, it was obvious to us there was a big need for, mm. for somebody to try and help the animals over here, and uh, we didn't have room for the dogs, so, and the cats was the way to go for us, you know? Mm. Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's a big, we get people ring us nearly every day. Mm -hmm. um, can you take this cat? Can you take that cat? Um, Wouldn't you like a few more calls saying, I'll take one? Well, yeah, I mean, we do get a few. It's been quiet the last month or so, but uh, we've actually rehomed 16 this year, which, mm -hmm. which is more than one a week, which mm. I suppose is, not too is bad, quite is good. And we, we, we did 69 last year. Mm -hmm. um, 58 the year before, and mm -hmm. gradually a bit, a bit lower in previous years as, as we've built up our reputation. You know. Have you, um, have you worked out how much it's costing you to feed all these cats, or well, do you prefer not to do it's, that? It's not really the feeding of them; it's, t it's, it's the vet bills oh, are the, are oh, the yeah, killer. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, feeding them, we probably get through about 25 kilos, probably a little bit more than that of, of cat food, which is, you know. 1,000, 1,500 baht, maybe, for a month. But it's the vet bills, you know? Mm -hmm. you've, got to, you've got to get them vaccinated. Again, you've got to get them uh, neutered, mm -hmm. uh, which, which is the biggest expense. Mm. And then you get, we, we've just rescued a guy that got knocked over by a car and had his jaw broken, and he, his, his eye was popped out. And, oh you know, I think his bill was something like 8,000 wow. baht, you know? Mm. And uh, he's okay, he's, he's doing, doing really well, but, um, and, and the money comes into after that. Yeah, sort of outlay, that's right. And, yeah. But the money all comes out of our own pocket. You know? Really, you're not so getting any. Um, no, we, we get the an occasional donation of a mm. you know, five hundred baht here and a thousand baht there occasionally. But but basically, you know, it's all done out of our own pockets. You know, mm. so it's it's a big financial burden. Yeah. Really. Do, do people that um, you know come and take a cat from you? Do they? Some, sometimes they leave a they, little bit of money sometimes behind they'll to, give you a, a donation you. yeah sometimes they do but very often they don't you know mm. um, well, I mean, they think that taking yeah, it yeah. is probably enough yeah, yeah I, 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 and also you know they come to the house and they oh it's a big house and it's got a swimming pool they must have wads of money like you know <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> but, but we, prob we probably did when we first came here but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all gone on the cats have eaten their way through it exactly it? Oh, yeah, yeah exactly so so I know um, the Battersea Dogs Home in, in mm. London because they charge they for do, their yeah. dogs even though and they're desperate to get rid of them. Yeah, they they think yeah. that if you pay money for something, yeah. you value it you, more. You're going to look for it more. Yeah. And, and you know, Thai people don't understand why you want to give them a cat for nothing. Right. It's very strange, you know. Mm. They, they say, well, why do you want to give me for free? You know? mm -hmm. But, you know, as long as you're going to take care of it and, you know, it's, it's taking it away from us. Yeah. It's your responsibility now. You know, and mm. so it's, uh, and it leaves us room for another one to come in. Yeah, so, yeah. So, but but um, they don't seem to get a, gra a grasp of why they want to give you a cat. Your yeah. reward is doing a happy yeah, yeah, cat yeah. is in and a happy absolutely, home. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. But it, uh, you know, you can't guarantee it's going to go to a, to a hundred percent. This must be home, very sort of um, constraining for you. I mean, you oh, know, obviously, absolutely, you yeah. or your wife have to be here all the time. Exactly. Right? Yes. Yeah. This this is why Sandra's just gone back to England because they're. Mum sadly passed away, and mm. I couldn't go with her. You know, yeah. um, we've got nobody that could step in and, and take well, over. Yes. You know, it's so not mm -hmm. if, you, know, can you look yeah. after my little moggy. Yeah, and, and it, there's only yeah. fifty of them. That's right, and, it, and it's you know you couldn't just throw a big bucket of food on the floor and no, say no, get no, on no. with it because no. you know you've got this one's got special food. This one can't go in the cage over there with that one. You know, mm. you've got to keep this one separate. Mm. These ones have got to have milk because they're too small. You mm. know, and it's it's not just yeah, a simple not. matter of of feeding them and being done with it. You know? Yeah, I know, I can imagine it really <laughs> is a labour of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, is there any special equipment in your, your house? What does it mm. look like? Has it got like jungle gyms for cats? Oh or? yeah, we've, we've got um, a friend of ours um, built us a great big tr climbing tree with right. little uh, boxes and mm. swings and things on it. But yeah, we've got lots of scratching poles and mm -hmm. tunnels and tents for them to play. What does your furniture look like? Uh, well, not as good as this, <laughs> I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah I don't think our nice suede sofas would last too long. No, 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 no. I mean, we, we, when we bought our, our sofa, and uh, we especially ordered the thick leather because we knew mm. there was going to be problems. But, but even that, you know, is yeah. shredded. We've got covers over them, but... <laughs> They'll get through yeah, anything. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. They go underneath the covers and do the damage <laughs> that way. You know? And where do they all sleep? Just in random corners? Or well, you know, we, we, as I say, or I mean, or we've got sort of... The main house has, has got three bedrooms mm. um, and a separate bathroom. And, the, and the, the flat has another four separate rooms. So. So we go four in this room, two in that room, six in that room, and uh, and so on and so on. Mm. The, the the bathroom in the main house is the nursery, 
Oh, so uh, so we, we've got a mum that produced five kittens five weeks ago and so she went in there had her babies and mm. they've, they've just at the point of running around now so right. they come out a bit but yeah there's, there's one or two that go in cages just for sleeping at night time okay um, purely because we haven't got enough rooms right to, to put them all in you know so there's, do, there's a do few. you regard any of them as your cats if you know what i mean you know, well, or are they all available they're, they're all available really yeah. um there are, there are one or two that probably won't ever go to home mm. you know, we've, got, we've got one um, little guy who's completely disabled he can't walk oh, his little dear. paws are all, all crippled you know and uh, we've had him f for about three years um, he did actually go to a home there, there was two of them um, he did actually go to a home but sadly as I was speaking about earlier mm. the lady had to go back to England couldn't oh, take right. couldn't take Shame. him with her mm. so um, I mean that little guy will probably stay with us because literally yeah. you've got to hand feed him one biscuit at a time oh, yeah, and, and most people aren't going to want to do yeah, that you know? exactly. and exactly. You also you have to put him out in the garden to go to the toilet four yeah. times a day oh really um, he, he never does it indoors you know he yeah. always holds holds on to it and put him out at certain times and he does his does his business as, mm. as necessary mm. um, yeah he's a dear, dear old chap but he probably won't ever find a home you know yeah, he'll be with us same. for good um, you know, there's, there's one or two like that, um, but but basically, they're all our cats, but they mm. all are all available if, yeah. if somebody wanted to mm. you know, say, I really like that yeah. ugly looking cat with one <laughs> one eye and, and three legs. You know, mm. like, yeah, and, well, a friend of mine t took a cat. He sort of you know took pity on and yeah. had one of his legs chopped off, and mm. it, was, it was fine yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. 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 they do manage you know, really well with three legs. Yeah, mm. incredible. Yeah, yeah. So. Still got one more than us. Yeah, yeah so. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm fairly legless most of the time. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> this, I, cat, I don't know a lot about cats, but they're, mm. they're, they're pretty independent creatures, aren't they? They, they you, are. Do you lock them all inside or do they they're, run wild? No, ev they all go outside in the daytime. Right. Um, everybody comes in at five o'clock for their tea. Yeah. Um, we've got one special case, Charlie, who's completely deaf. Mm -hmm. uh, blind in this eye mm. and can only see a little bit out of this eye mm. but unfortunately I would imagine because of his disabilities the little bit of sight that he's got if he sees another cat he just goes bananas you know mm. so so he has to come out um, first thing in the morning usually about six o'clock oh, he's in solitary um, confinement yeah most he, of the time. he stays in he stays in a, in a cage in the daytime yeah. But he comes out and goes on a harness and a rope, and oh. everybody else is kept in, and he can he can wander yeah. around oh, on this right. rope for for an hour. And the same thing, normally um, five o'clock, everybody comes in for their tea. Mm -hmm. Charlie comes out for his exercise, you know. Um, yeah. so but your day, are you spending then on this? Well, we, I mean, like I say, if we, you get up at six, we, we start at six normally. Um, you can usually finish by about 11.30 or 12. That's just doing the cleaning and the medicines. And well, in the morning. One thing and another, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, then you've got to try and fit in your other things, you know, the, mm. you know your shopping and vet runs. Mm. And, and, you know, and, and then, of course, five o'clock, hey, presto, it starts all over again, you know, so. Grief. So yeah, what time do you get time, to, well, if ever, to yourself? Well, um, probably get grab a couple of hours in the evening normally. Mm. Mm. Um, and um, maybe a couple of hours in the afternoon, you know, and, mm. but, but usually uh, all you want to do is have a nap, you know. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, uh, if you have to be up at six again the mm. next morning, it's, it's Absolutely, pretty much yeah. a sort of a full time job, yeah. a wheel sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, sure, sure. So, have you got any, uh, you don't set a video up because obviously cat videos are very popular on mm. YouTube. No, we you could supplement your income or something. Just no, I don't, I don't, I've never really gone into that. We, no. we have got one on that. You haven't taught them to play the piano. No, no, no. <laughs> I think it might, it might be the way to go. Yeah, you never know. We've got some clever ones there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us, um, hopefully we will get you some people mm, who think that oh, need yeah. a cat. So yeah, yeah. if we have any uh, anyone out there who would like a cat, sure. or maybe some generous people who would like to help you out absolutely, with some yeah. of your, your food, payments. Food, would, food, or would anything, be nice. anything like that. So yeah. how can they get in contact with you? Uh, well, like initially, I suppose, get, just give us a call on 85 287 5004 We'll put that number up down there. It will be there, mm. probably somewhere around there. And if if you're interested in the cats and you want to see um, who we've got available before you come to see us, you can you can look on our website, which is um, catsforyouinpatia.webs.com. 
um, you can see all of the cats that we've got available. Mm -hmm. um, right. we, we have this this book um, Excellent. Sh showing all the cats that we have. Good. So, so if you would like to help Paul out, take a cat, then check out that uh, website or give him a call on the number and uh, do uh, do him a favour and get yourself a lovely cat. Paul, thank you very much for coming thank to join us. Much. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank you, Dave, for all thank your you. help. And we'll be right back after the break.